If I could go back to my 14-year-old self, um, I'd tell myself to not compete with anyone else and to try to be the best version of myself. Um, we tend to compete with different people and I know from experience in my life that comparison is a thief of joy and I say that we should always strive to give our best and not to be the best. My name is Khaled Sadek. I'm a business process manager at Mila headquarters in Gurislo. What I like most about my job is uh, we travel a lot to different countries that have our Mila subsidiaries in. Uh, we get to meet people from different business areas, from different cultures, from different corners of the world, um, talking to them about business demands and business needs. And while doing that, you get to know them on a personal level and get introduced into a new culture. And I think this is a very enriching uh, quality to have at my work. The business is very sophisticated and we have uh, subsidized our work into really detailed or niche departments. And I work in a department that's integrating all of these departments together. Uh, to get a requirement done, uh, most of the time we have to coordinate between multiple stakeholders or department owners and uh, getting all of them aligned on a strategy or on an idea is a very challenging thing to do sometimes. I work for Mila. Mila is the leading manufacturer in premium domestic appliances. I work as a business process manager in Sales Retail International at the head office um, location in Gurislo. So we're responsible for uh, designing and aligning the processes in all of our Mila subsidiaries. So part of our job is in traveling into these subsidiaries, meeting with the stakeholders of all of these subsidiaries, getting their requirements and translating them into the system. So that happens prior to implementation and we, we have basically in our departments also three separate departments also as well. So we call them a support team uh, release team and a rollout team. Uh, the rollout is the one that implements the system. The support is the post implementation where we give them the hyper care. We look after their needs and demands. And the releases where we introduce new functions, uh, new methods, new ways in the system that will make it faster, easier to, day, to do their day-to-day -day work. A big part of my job is also, I mean, the rollout, I would say, which is uh, when we go to a country that has a legacy system, an old system that they're working on and we're introducing them with the SAP implementation. So this part is a little bit different. So we're not only collecting new ideas. We have to go into the country, understand the way they're doing their current work and trying to find the gap analysis between the way they're doing their current daily jobs and what the system is offering. And our job is basically to bring these two parts as close as possible to each other. I, I grew up in Jordan and I studied computer science. Um, by the time I was growing up, technology was a big um, and the thing to study and get into. Um, I was really interested in it and as soon as I graduated, I worked in building websites and applications. Uh, I worked in Jordan a bit and then most of my career I worked in Canada. So uh, for eight or nine years, I have a really um, detailed experience in the website development and acquiring knowledge on the business processes behind it. Uh, um, acquiring this knowledge uh, at Mila in head office in Gurislo, they offered me a position. They needed someone who knows, who has a technical experience along with the business awareness. I took the offer and now I'm working as a business process manager in here. The requirements would be uh, similar to my profile, is you have to um, have a business awareness. You have to know how processes work in terms of um, in, 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 the, in the line of business that you are, whether it's sales, service, or logistics. And you have to have a, a bit of a technical background, like you have to understand how to translate these business requirements into a demand that's translated into a code at the end into the system. You need to understand the business strategy. You need to understand how to think in terms of revenue, how can we uh, solve problems, critical thinking, of course. Uh, and you need to understand how to translate these requirements into technical I would say drafts or demands. So it, it works in that scenario. And you need a lot of other more skills like um, training. You need to train the people on 
new features or functionalities on the system. Um, technical writing, of course. So yeah, these are three of them. But there is few, quite a few more too.